Got three, gonna fill it up. Oh yeah. What's the easiest stuff to shoot? Um, bait. Probably spades. We'll see some kudas. But uh, bear kudas will them spaz a out. Pound kuda. Yeah, they're just be ready. They spaz out. They get very angry. Yeah. Do you guys eat the bear kuda? They're actually yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah, we were in Florida and Jay was like, yeah, no one eats them, so we decided yeah. to eat so them. They don't uh, in Florida because they have their toxic. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there's coral. We don't have coral like they have. Yeah, here they're good. Yeah. Welcome back. Good morning. I'm Braden Sharon. If you guys are new here, and today we got Mike the Mullet Man, Eric from Hushin, and Ben from Shed Crazy back here. What's up? Let Sleepy. me get it up. He's we'll uh, he's hiding on the beanbag. There's a couple mainlanders out here on the coast. Yeah. So these guys have never gone spear fishing. Well, Mike went last year with me in the saltwater. Uh, but today we're gonna go to the rigs offshore, show them how we do it down here in Texas and hopefully put a bunch of fish in the cooler. You guys want a bunch of fish to eat? Oh yeah, we're taking it all home, man. They got freezers that are empty and they in need of fish, so. We're about to get rolling out. Got the boat loaded down. Seas offshore are favorable, and last I checked, the water was really clean. So I'm looking forward to it. You guys stay tuned. We'll see you guys when we get out there. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, you do need a bad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hold on for dear life. Check out the clarity. Unreal. All right, Mike the mullet man just hopped in. There's a couple of reds. Snapper? Really? Well, I guess there's some red snapper. We just got suited up. We're about to hop in. It's scorching hot, so I'm looking forward to this. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the water. Welcome back to the offshore oil rigs. We're jumping right in. We've got Eric over here loading up. This is his first time spear fishing ever. And then we've got Mike. He came down with me last year to dive, but he's also done some other spear fishing. But this is his second time diving down here on the rigs with me. But as you can see, we just have stellar conditions. These guys could not have come down on a better day. We've got super low current great clarity these guys want to bring back quite a bit of fish so that is the goal today shoot red snapper mangrove snapper whatever eats good that these guys want to take home so here's my first dive really I'm just scoping everything out getting acclimated there I spot a legal red snapper but it's a bit juvenile I'm looking for those big donks as I call them and that is exactly what I spot here on my second dive So I make a dive bomb on that one. I grab the line as soon as I shoot, but it just takes off. It's ripping line through my gloves. And I also didn't make a very long breathe up, nor am I really warmed up. This was my second dive, so I do what I can while swimming up to the surface. So I catch my breath fish stops fighting so hard and we are able to pull it up
or you can really see how these fish can fight harder with that slip tip. They've got more range of motion and there's just not a spear in them weighing them down as much. That's why that red snapper really took off and fought so hard. But the benefit is that that shot does not tear at all as you can see and you get a really secure hold on the fish. Also when you're shooting bigger fish this will save you a lot of bent spears. But there you go, first fish of the day, brained it, bled it, and just gutted it. Alright. Good one. Yeah, they're coming up today, so you have a really good chance of getting them. Oh yeah. That's a hammer. Look at that. Woo! Well, first fish of the day. First good fish of the Red day. Red snapper. I am toasting right now. I am too. I'm gonna get in the water. Well, uh, I'm glad we're seeing them. Red snapper look like they're gonna come up and play today. Maybe I did see a red snapper then. You I did, 100%. Because I saw them right when I got in. Yeah. Then they went back down in that murk. Heck Check yeah, it out. Bro. I'm gonna go get me one now. Oh yeah. First red snapper of the day. Solid fish. And he put up a fight. Fellas. I got something. <laughs> right when he shot that spade fish, a shark came cruising up. Hey, it was a shark? Yeah. And then a big old dolphin came in too. What you doing? I don't know. <laughs> He got a mangrove. Oh yeah. Mangrove, baby. How to dive deep. <laughs> there you go. Deep. Don't leave me hanging. Oh. Here, just, just throw oh, the sorry. gun in the boat. Throw the gun in the boat. <laughs> Hold on. And then I got it. Fish. I don't have a knife or anything. You're good. You're I good. got it. Just get him in the boat first. Oh, sweet. That was so dope. Nice. Dude. That was like my first dive. Yeah. Like you said, just be calm. Yep. Dude, those are good eating. Heck yeah, we're gonna fill the box up. Yeah, yeah I get hooked on the, oh. on the gills now. Guys, this is so far. Heck yeah. I gotta go get me a red this snapper. This is a dream, dude. Did you ever think Texas waters were like this? I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> we need to get him a big barracuda, dude. Have you seen some of those I, big I ones? I could have shot a small one, but I actually saved it. So here's a shot of Mike making a drop on some mangroves. He's really calm when he goes down there. He stops kicking to stabilize right before he shoots. And just the behavior in the water, that slow movement, that calmness <laughs> is key in not only getting close, but making good shots in these fish. He's gotten really proficient in shooting these mangroves and it goes to show, you know, this is exactly what I talk about doing to effectively shoot the snapper and do it consistently. They're smarter in certain zones. They're more tame in certain zones, but the technique is the same throughout. You know, here it's not too difficult to get close to these things, but in some areas you really have to play these fish. They'll keep their distance. They're very shy and you really have to focus on the strategy. You can't just swim at them because I've been around a lot of mangroves that don't want any part of you if that's how you go about it. These fish also learn, you know, if they get shot at or if you chase them around, they get educated 
very quickly. That's kind of a running joke that we make sometimes is when someone misses, you're educating that fish. So next time it's not going to come so close. So I dive my way through the rig and here I'm actually at the far side where I haven't dove yet. And I'm just going to let this one play out. sharks down there so try to hurt the fish they're hungry That's the limit right there. Big Damn. stud. Big thing, bro. There was a couple of sharks circling around. I was like, oh, I better stone it. And this Dang, thing rolled dude. over. Nice fish. Right to the dome. <laughs> that is so cool. Straight to the ice box. The spear might be a pain to get out. How far down there was that one? I was probably about 60. Dude, he gets down there and he's just like chilling. Like just laying there. And the fish just come to him almost. Yeah, these are one of the, my favorite to hunt right here. They're good eating too. One of the best. Dang Let's man, that's stuff. gonna make some big old fillets. So here Eric goes down and sticks his very first barracuda. I was super impressed. He seems like a natural. He went down and right before he shot, he just stopped kicking so he could stabilize <laughs> and made a nice head shot. I help him get this fish situated and it is going in the boat. I get a lot of questions about barracudas and cicatera or toxins. The short answer is we don't really have to worry about it with barracudas here in Texas because we don't have a ton of coral reef. They don't build up, say, that cicatera or whatever they get over in Florida. So 
So at this point, I have speared my red snapper limit, but I am looking for more to point out to Mike. And here I find two studs. So I point them out, Mike makes a dive, and he's going down real nice and slow. This is exactly how you want to dive on the snapper. So he's hovering, I make a dive to go down and try to point them out. He doesn't see him. I think his mask was fogging up quite a bit, so it was making it difficult, especially to see in that murk. But I punch down a little bit deeper just to see if they're hanging still. But they're kind of just poking in and out of that murk now. So you really got to be able to get down here and just sit. Mike makes a couple more dives at him, but they're sitting a bit too deep now. So he ends up shooting a mangrove. And at this point, we want some more meat for the guys to take back. So I decide to look for a mangrove as well. And if you're wondering why I don't just shoot these mangroves right off the bat, I honestly just really like hunting these red snapper. They get bigger. You gotta work harder for them. They tend to be deeper. And I hunt them first because they're more elusive. In this zone, these mangroves tend to hang around. And you can shoot them later on after you shoot your red snapper or look for whatever else you're looking for. But as far as taste goes, they are very comparable and great eating. So I'm being very patient. There's an undersized cobia right there. But there's no need to force anything here. There are a bunch of shooter mangroves. I'm just focusing on moving very slowly to keep these fish around me relaxed and just let that shot line itself up. So I line one up, but we have a malfunction here. The slip tip actually gets caught with the shooting line. And as you can see, the spear just stopped mid shot. I don't even think it would have deployed by the way it was wrapped up. But thankfully that fish juked the spear. But I'm gonna have to reset and go give it another go. That's just one of the quirks with using a slip tip. You really got to be conscious of it being set up right before you shoot because it could cost your shot if you're not paying attention.
this go around that slip tip was set right and that is how you want to do it Kill. I hope there's still ice in here, bro. I it's that. cold. Oh, yeah, you saw it. Good mangrove snapper. Shot to the dome. So, at this point, I decide to set the gun down, pick up the camera, and just film Mike and Eric diving. We are really trying to get Mike on a red snapper. We are diving multiple multiple rigs but they were not wanting to come up out of that merc and play and from here on out for the rest of the underwater I'm just gonna film the guys shooting whatever else they want to take home and eat if you want to see their perspectives from this trip I'll have their videos and channels linked down in the description box below so enjoy the rest of it Spade fish. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we need to we need to pop this up on the unzipper a little. All right, so we got some spade fish, some sheep's head. I think we got two in here, right? Yeah. We got two somewhere. These guys have been diving deep. Not me. I'm the top water guy. <laughs> got Stand a cuda. In the mouth. Yeah, we got a cuda. It's hard to see in the fish bag, but yeah, look at that. There's the other sheep. Yeah. Good variety box, all good eating fish though. And then down here we have a big one. Man, dude, mega. That's so cool. A couple big ones. Oh, we gotta get some of those. Yeah, we got uh, six more to get. I gotta learn yeah. how to hold my breath a little longer, I think. <laughs> how do y'all like spear fishing? Dude, I've been dreaming of doing this. This is like the ideal perfect setup oh, yeah. to come do this for the first time. 
<laughs> it's cooler than I thought. It's underwater. In the pond. Underwater bow hunting. Yeah, well, exactly. Not bow, but it's underwater hunting. Well, I got a. Technically, this is what we call underwater bow hunting. I got a, a pole spear. Yeah. That's that's the bow hunting, but. Yeah, couldn't have been a better day for them to come out and dive. Water is crystal clear, clearer than the other day when I was out. I can actually kind of make out the bottom. And the current's super minimal, so it's nice and easy, relaxing. Bag's getting so full that it's hard to zip up. Dude, it's hard to zip up. <laughs> Teamwork. There we go. But yeah, overall, good day. Got some reds, mangroves, sheep's head, spades. Y'all are slaying it. We ready. All right, well, that's about all she wrote. Dude, that was fun, man. Thank you. I guess we gotta get out. Got this suit before I have a heat stroke. And it's one of those things, though, like you're you're happy with one day. Yeah. Like it's not yeah. like you have to go out and do it every day. You'll be satisfied for a while, but then you'll get the itch again. Yeah. And when you get it, you're like, we gotta go. No, I, that's, I... All right, well, we have made it back. We're getting some more ice. They're draining out the water. That's about all she wrote. They're gonna take all Dude, the fish. Make sure you guys it. go check out their YouTube channels. Give them the names check of your it channel. Out. Hushin channel, H U S H I N, mostly hunting and fishing. My channel, Shed Crazy. We do shed hunting and not spear fishing. But if you guys <laughs> wanna come by, we're over there. Come see. I'm sure you guys know Mike, the mullet man. He does a bunch of outdoor stuff, hunting, fishing, just about everything. Mullet man, mullet man, eat good, critical glitter. So yeah, they're gonna take all the fish. Like I said, they wanted fish for the year to eat. So, yeah, great trip. You guys enjoyed it? Dude, killer trip, yeah, man. I couldn't ask for anything better than that. Cool deal. All right, y'all, we are back. Mike, Eric, and Ben actually took all the fish. They're taking it back to Utah with them. But I got some red snapper we're cooking up. I'll show you guys how we're doing it. We got Kenny and Blaine helping out. Oh, check this out. Mmm. So we got red snapper fillets, we put olive oil on there, onion, lemon, and then cilantro. Y'all just put on while I was in Yeah, house. cilantro. So this looks super good. We got the grill on. Caramelizing some onions right now. What's the temp here? 350. 350? That's perfect. Fish is ready to go. We're probably going to cover it in some tin foil. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. We're going to do some fish tacos with it. So far, it looks amazing already. Are you ready to throw it on the grill? Yeah, let's do it. We just gotta make sure this olive oil is not gonna come out the sides. Y'all wanna cover it or just make some borders? Let's just. We might throw a deal over it just yeah, so it I cooks faster. Cover it. Where's the pinfoil? Actually, no, let's just throw it on. That's too much work. Heat waves are coming. She Sorry for the lighting, but look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, we're starting the timer right now. So I can tell y'all how long this takes to cook. And we should be done. About 35 minutes. Got some hungry dogs smelling the fish over here. Brody, you, you hungry, Brody? <laughs> <You're a bubble laughs> They're ready to go. And we're done. I'm just gonna slide her off. Yeah, I guess the olive oil, uh oh, tin foil broke. Olive oil got a little hot, so like the onions are kind of charred. But it looks really good. All right, y'all, so we got the taco shells, just broiled these to make them crunch here. Got some cheese, we're gonna get some sour cream, maybe some tomatoes and finish the taco out. We got sour cream. What is this? Salsa. 
and then some cheese. Look at that. The caramelized onions. Caramelized onions look amazing. Dude, got some hungry dogs down here. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, go. I would give it a 10, but I feel like... I feel like I need to give it a little lower score. 9.5? So room for improvement. I'm gonna go... Nine. It's gotta be at least a nine. I'm nine, gonna go with a nine, nine, three. Nine, four for me. For a red snap or taco, dude, you can't get better. Pretty freaking good. Fish is perfect. Seriously, that is awesome. Probably the best fish taco I've ever had. All right, we're gonna finish these. But that concludes the, the taste test. Super good. Super good. I'll go back for seconds. We ran out of taco shells, so going straight fish with all the toppings on it. <laughs> it's a big mm. old plate. <laughs> kind of like nachos. <laughs>